Ash and Pikachu have been partners from the very first episode of the Pokemon anime, but what if they never met? I wanted to stop and look what would happen if Pikachu and Ash weren't partners and what significant events through the Kanto region would have changed. So first off, when Pikachu was still a Pichu, we learned that it used to be close to a bunch of Kangaskhan. Let's say that Pikachu decided to stay with its friends rather than wandering off and leave them. Also, let's say that Ash, instead of being late to Oak's lab, he was on time and the first trainer to arrive. He wouldn't have been teased by Gary and he would have started his journey off a lot more organised. Ash initially wanted to pick Squirtle as his starter, so if he was on time it means he would have got the chance to pick Squirtle and Gary wouldn't have got the Squirtle. I'm going to give Gary the Charmander, I think it makes a lot of sense since Gary is based off Blue and Blue from the manga has a Charizard. So Ash begins his journey with Squirtle at his side and it begins quite smoothly, rather than dragging along a disobedient Pikachu, Ash makes pretty good time. He sets up before all the other trainers and even avoids being attacked by the Spearow, which leads to Misty not following Ash because Pikachu was never there to shock Misty's bike. Ash is still going to obtain, obtain all the same Pokemon he did because it would be impossible to predict what sort of impact having a Squirtle instead of a Pikachu would have on Pokemon he battles and captures. The only difference to his Kanto team would be his Squirtle, which was a member of the Squirtle squad. He would never have captured that Pokemon. The episode could still have played out the same, but with Ash's Squirtle and the Squirtle squad members bonding and helping each other towards the end, rather than Ash catching the one with the sunglasses. So Ash would have defeated Brock rather easy because of the water type advantage and they would have only had to battle the one time. I think Ash would have only needed that one battle to defeat him rather than rematching him. And Brock would still come along with Ash, but then they would go to Cerulean City together and Ash would have his battle with Misty, where originally Pikachu didn't want to battle Misty, but at this point Ash would have a fairly strong Squirtle and he would have beaten Misty first time around, I think. And after beating Misty, Misty would decide to travel along with Ash and the original trio would still be together. The next gym battle is against Lieutenant Surge. I think this could play out similar. Ash wouldn't have any Pokemon that would do great against Surge. So being Ash, he would try and use his Squirtle, who is weak to Raichu. He would lose his first battle, just like what happened with Pikachu, and then he would go to train up Squirtle until he evolves into a War Turtle. He would use a better strategy, using War Turtle's strong shell to block electric attacks, and Ash would defeat Lieutenant Surge the second time around. The next few gym battles would play out pretty much exactly the same, with Ash just using his War Turtle instead of Pikachu. Ash will have obtained six badges at this point, and have his original team plus his war turtle. Ash and friends would come across an island of Blastoise and War Turtle. It would be much like Beach Blank Out Blastoise, but it would replace Pikachu's goodbye. It would have a similar plotline about waking up the Blastoise, and at the end Ash would think that War Turtle would be happier with its own kind. But similar to, P to Pikachu's goodbye, War Turtle would come running back to Ash and they would stay together. Throughout the series, Team Rocket would be causing their usual antics and havoc. But instead of chasing Pikachu, they don't really have their sights set on any individual Pokemon. They just want to capture every single Pokemon that they see. The seventh gym badge will play out a lot different. Ash would have much more of an advantage, although his Charizard still won't obey him. He will have a War Turtle, who is super effective against all of Blaine's Pokemon. We would see a much closer battle with Ash nearly winning, but failing to his Magma at the end. Charizard will see how hard War Turtle fought, and it will motivate him to battle in the second match. Much like what happens in the original, I think Charizard would start obeying Ash completely after seeing another strong Pokemon listen to him, being War Turtle. This means that Ash would have a fully powered Charizard who listens to him all the time for the Pokemon League. The rest would be the same, Charizard would beat Blaine's Magma and win Ash's 7th badge. And then not long after, he would get his 8th badge from Team Rocket and be able to compete in the Pokemon League. Before the league, Ash bumps into Gary at the lab and I think Gary would be a bit more respectful to Ash. Ash's team is a lot stronger at this point and Gary would see this. Obviously he would still be himself, cocky, arrogant towards Ash, but not as much. Gary would be able to see how well Ash has trained his Charizard and be able to relate because Gary would have his own Charizard at this point. The early stages of the league would all play out the same. Gary would lose early on and swear to come back stronger. Ash would meet Richie, who does still have his Pikachu despite Ash not having his, and they would become friends and be forced to battle each other. Before the battle, Team Rocket wouldn't steal Pikachu, which would mean Ash would be rested and ready for battle. 
and he would defeat Richie. Charizard would take on Richie's Pikachu. Wartortle would easily defeat Richie's Charmander and Charizard would do the rest. Ash wouldn't have needed to even use his third Pokemon. He would advance to the top eight where he would come up against an unnamed trainer with a Venusaur. The trainer's Venusaur will defeat Ash's Wartortle with ease and then the trainer would have a Jolteon which takes down Ash's Charizard. Ash would be defeated. Ash would have got further and of course he would have been a lot prouder and the unnamed trainer would have gone on to win the whole league. From the Kanto region alone you can see that Ash not getting Pikachu probably wouldn't be such a bad thing. Don't get me wrong if you combine all seven regions then Ash getting Pikachu was definitely for the better but just looking at Kanto alone it seems though like Ash having a water turtle would have helped him out in so many situations. The end of the Kanto would play out the same with Ash deciding to go to the Orange Islands and all the Orange Island stuff would be the same. This video is just going over Kanto region but Ash's journey in other regions would differ a lot more as well where he relies on Pikachu a lot more and maybe he would suffer for not having Pikachu. But please like this video if you do want to see me make a part 2 on the Johto region. Overall it seems that Ash would have a better time but this is just all in my imagination. I've just made up a false story that if Ash didn't get Pikachu what could happen? Obviously he could have still been late to Professor Oak's lab and not received anything at all but we wouldn't know. Thank you for watching, what are your thoughts on Ash's Pikachu, what do you think would have happened if he never received it? Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.